Okay, so we have our circle test to tell us where, whether we're relatively close to this line segment right here. And then we also have the uh, dot product thing I did in the first videos um, showing us how far away we are from the line. Um, the condition really if, is if the user pushes the mouse down, all right, and they're within a relatively close region of this turret, we want to allow them to move the turret. Okay, well, what is close? Well, I think I'm going to go roughly with, I don't know, five pixels at the most. Okay, so if they're five pixels away from the line segment and they're within the circle of the line segment, then um, when the mouse goes down, we'll allow them to grab the, the turret and maintain some state. We have to do some state maintenance now between frames. Is the mouse going down this frame? Is the mouse coming up this frame? Is the mouse still down this frame? Are they moving the turret around? So on and so forth. I hope you don't think that my code is an example of um, excellent code here. Ideally, we would factor all this logic into various classes and do some good design um, just so we would have something better than one big fat file with all the game logic in it. But I think for tutorial videos, it's appropriate here. And then the design you can um, intuitively, hopefully, do on your own. If not, come ask me. Okay. So, first things first, I'm going to hit Control M O. And that brings up open file, and I can't remember why, because I have so many programs open that hotkey probably doesn't work. I'm gonna, I am gonna, want to collapse all these. Let me pause the video and collapse. Okay, so here's all my code roughly collapsed. We have the, the uh, ship stuff, we have the turret stuff, draw a line, all that kind of stuff. Um, in the update function, let's, let's see if the mouse is going to go down. And remember, we have frames going, and I believe I have it at 60 frames a second. So 60 times a second... We need to see, hey, if the mouse is down last frame and is down this frame, then we're going to do certain things differently than if the mouse wasn't down this frame, um, or it wasn't down, down last frame, but it's down this frame. Okay? So basically we need a, a Boolean somehow to say, hey, what is the mouse state? So I'm going to say, bool mouse is, is down. And we'll just assume that the mouse isn't down to start out with. Uh, in the update function... Let's open this up again, and ideally I'd do this in another function and call it from the update function, but why not? Well, let's make this update as big and ugly as we can. Uh, actually, velocity will push you down. Okay, so if the mouse is not down and core input uh, is pressed, I think it's core input, uh, button left, that's the left mouse button. Okay, if the mouse isn't down, but they're pushing the left mouse button, then in here, we can say they just pushed the mouse button uh, from last frame. Okay, they just barely clicked. So to say, okay, well, what are the other states we could have? If the uh, mouse is down and oops and core core input is pressed core input I guess I could copy and paste this from the line above or the if above um, if the mouse is down meaning if it was down I guess I should name this mouse uh, was down last frame. That's a little wordy, but it might be a little more intuitive as to what's going on here. So, if the mouse wasn't down the last frame, but it is down this frame, we know they just clicked the button. Okay? If the mouse, let's do an else if, if, else, if, if the mouse was down last frame, and it's also down this frame, mouse is still down. Okay? Else, last state change here, if the mouse was down last frame and it's not down this frame, let me copy this, paste, okay, if, it's, if it was down last frame but it's not down this frame, mouse was just let up, okay? So there we go, there's the three states our mouse can go to, click down, down, click up. Um, if the mouse wasn't down last frame, but it's down this frame, then we need to track that. So mouse was down last frame gets true. And then when they let go of the mouse, we're going to say mouse was down last frame gets false. 
Okay. Now what I'm doing here is debouncing, and hopefully you don't make a boolean for every debounce that you need to do. I'm, I'm just trying to debounce the the mouse so it doesn't click on, click off, click on, click off, click on, click off for every frame. Go Google debouncing to read more about it. Um, ideally, you'd write a debouncer kind of thing and and include that with your your engine or at least your game logic. For now, we're just doing the mouse, so I'm going to do it with a simple boolean. Okay. So let's let's fill out this one first. If the mouse just went down, we want to see if the mouse went down within a relatively decent range of the turret. Okay, so let's um let's use our two equations we wrote in the last videos. Get mouse distance from turret line. We'll just start with that test first. And I'm going to drop a magic number five there. If the mouse distance from the turret li turret line is less than five, and um the mouse is within the turret circle, then we know we're golden. At that point, they've clicked close enough to the turret. We need to allow them to track the mouse. So I'm going to say bool um, turret. See, look at all the state management we got to do with all these booleans. Turret is tracking mouse, and we'll start that out with false. Okay, right here I'm going to say turret is tracking mouse, and yeah, if it passes both those tests and the mouse just went down, then we're going to track that thing. And then I'm going to say a uh, align turret to mouse. All right, and I'm calling a function I haven't defined yet. Let's define it up here and say void. And we'll fill this in in a minute. Okay? So going on with our state management, if the mouse was down last frame and uh, the left mouse button's still down and the turret is tracking the mouse actually just to keep this mouse state stuff reusable I'm gonna say if tur or yeah, turret is tracking mouse then we want to continue to align the turret with the mouse okay and if they let up the mouse uh, there's really no work to do at that point okay so what do we how do we align the turret to the mouse well let me bring the uh, Game back up here. If my mouse is right here, say I grab the turret, and it really doesn't matter where I move the mouse at that point. If I grab the turret and I move the mouse out here, it doesn't doesn't really matter. I just want the turret to point to wherever the mouse is. Well, I can't just take the distance between these two points and uh, say that's my new turret, because not only would that allow them to rotate the turret, that would also allow them to lengthen the turret. All right? And we want to keep the turret length the same. If you remember from the from one of the previous uh, previous videos I made this turret length and this is why I made the turret length. If the mouse tracks all the way out here while the turret is following the mouse then uh, what I want to do is subtract the two points, the position of the ship from the mouse. I want to normalize it giving me a length of one which is roughly one pixel but then I want to times that by the turret length which will bring the turret roughly back out to the length it should or almost perfectly back out to the length that it should be. So a simple equation, let's just let's roll with that and uh, implement it. Okay, I'm going to say align turret to mouse. I'm going to say uh, uh, vec to mouse position. And again, I think I've coded this three times. You think I would refactor this into a function, but I don't know, let's copy and paste again. Again, copy paste. Horrible approach. But we'll do it for the tutorial. And uh looks like there's an ambulance going by my window. I suppose you can hear the wailing of the siren. Okay, I have the mouse position. I also have the position of the ship. So to get the mouse vector, I'm just going to say vec2 mouse vector uh, gets the mouse position minus the position of the ship. Okay, and then uh, to do the turret, I think I just called it turret. That's our turret vector. That is going to be our mouse vector normalized. Uh, I don't know if I wrote this operator. Times uh, what I call it, turret length. Turret length. Okay, do I get a red squiggly? I don't. I guess I did make it reflexive. Okay, so that, that basically resets our turret to wherever the mouse is. Let's run this, see if it works. Of course, it's not going to build because I still have the game running. Let's close that, rebuild it, and run it again. Let's get our ship on the screen. Stop it. Okay, I'm clicking all the way out here. Notice nothing is going on with our turret. Very good. I'm going to get within this 
nice little range of our turret. Grab, and you see the turret now tracks with the mouse. See, and I can bring the mouse way out here. But remember, I normalize it and times it by the turret length, and that keeps my turret at its proper length. So anyway, that's if I let go, notice the turret is no longer tracking the mouse. So that's kind of fun. Now that the turret is no longer perfectly horizontal, let's bring it out here, some weird angle. Notice my test still. I got to be within that circle. In order for this to zero or this boolean to be within the circle, um, I have to be close to the line segment. Okay. Oh, looks like there's another. Oh, here comes a fire truck this time instead of an ambulance. Um, be within the circle. I have to track in the circle, and then the same thing. Not well here. Watch this. Sorry, I'm going a little fast trying to keep these videos at some decent length. Here's our line defined by our turret. Okay, now watch the number right here at the top of the screen goes down to zero as I get closer and closer to the line. My line's not perfect, obviously, but roughly zero as I get close to the line. So that's kind of fun to play with. And anyway, there you go. Rotate your turret, have fun with that, and grab it with the mouse.